Jonathan Lee Riches and Investigates. I'm out in front of the AT&T store covering the Moscow, Idaho, Brian Kohlberger case. Let's talk about Brian Kohlberger's internet search history with his AT&T phone. Remember, authorities seized his phone, the 8458 phone of Brian Kohlberger. But lucky for us, AT&T was the service provider to his phone. But unlucky for Brian Kohlberger. And I'll show you why. Internet search history on cell phones. AT&T is very cooperative when it comes to internet search history on their network. Check it out. So right here is a chart. Provider retention periods for the major service for providers, phone service providers, AT&T, Cricket, T-Mobile, Metro PCS, Sprint, Verizon, US Cellular. And it tells you the retention periods for certain things like subscriber, call detail records, cell site, SMS tolls. But down here at the bottom here, internet web browsing. And with AT&T, the retention, as you see down there at the bottom, one year at the bottom in the left, one year. Cricket, AT&T, one year. Look at T-Mobile, no. Look at Metro PCS, no. Look at Sprint, no. Verizon, a half a year. And US Cellular, no. So Brian Kohlberger, he had an AT&T phone. So they got one year of internet browsing. That would probably be from, well, you know the crime occurred. November 13th, 2022. So maybe they got it going all the way back to November 13th, 2021. That means they got all the summer data. They got the fall. They got the spring of 2022. This is on the a phone, his phone. Now, also... It is believed that he got that phone starting June 23rd, 2022. June 23rd, 2022. So they can get a lot of juicy stuff coming out of that 8458 phone. You know, the 8458, according to the affidavit of probable cause. But this is something you should look into because uh, I think the internet uh, browsing history is going to be a key factor factor in this case let me know what you think they have up to a year they store internet search history for a year the other service providers no no so lucky for us lucky for investigators lucky for law enforcement they can go through all his cell phone internet search history records and see exactly what he searched on his phone. All the sites he went to, the Google searches. If Brian Kohlberger had uh, Verizon or one of those smaller carrier phones, they probably wouldn't have gotten it. So that is a big bonus for law enforcement. And probably we will hear more about the AT&T phone of Brian Kohlberger in the future. If he goes to trial, maybe somebody from AT&T might even come and testify. An AT&T rep, a technology technician with AT&T, corporate bigwig with AT&T, sitting at the stand at the Brian Kohlberger trial and explaining a tech techie, like the Geek Squad, a techie saying, yep, this is how we were are able to retain his internet search history. And maybe the internet search history shows some very incriminating things that he typed in. Do, 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 search keywords or things he used, sites he went to to maybe buy things to commit this crime. And I say this with Kohlberger because I believe he did commit this crime. And I believe AT&T will assist with the Brian Kohlberger prosecution. Do you agree or do you disagree? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. Covering the Brian Kohlberger case, check out my Brian Kohlberger Moscow, Idaho playlist 
I'm gonna go in here and look at uh, maybe a uh, thing for my phone. What I mean is one of those uh, screen savers or screen things. So I don't, cause I'm used to dropping my phone a lot. I'm gonna go in here and see if I can get one for my phone. So you don't see scratches on this screen. We'll talk soon. Everyone be safe. Justice for the victims and their families. God bless.